Amazon has equipped its 10-inch Fire HD tablets with hands-free Alexa, effectively turning the tablet into a mobile Echo Dot. Whenever you call Alexa, the digital assistant appears like a genie from a bottle and attempts to help you using its artificial intelligence or control your smart home. In this brief review, we will be taking a quick look at the system. If you can deal with having ads on the lock screen, the new Fire Tablet HD 10, 2017 only costs $149, while it still costs $165 sans ads. As such, it seems to be quite inexpensive. But when you think about the fact that this is basically an Amazon shopping cart, the price only seems fair. You don't get certain freedoms on an Amazon device that you get on other Android tablets, and it's particularly apparent in the severely limited selection of apps and services. Amazon Fire HD 10 2017 software initially the pre-installed operating system on the fire tablet fire os was at version 5.5.0.0 and is based on android 5.1.1 lollipop during our review at the beginning of november 2017 we received an update to fire os 5.6.0.0 which delivered the aforementioned alexa feature however Due to heavy customization by the manufacturer, an Amazon tablet offers a severely limited Android user experience that you're just going to have to deal with. If you're coming from a device with a Google account or want to continue using services from your Android smartphone on your Amazon tablet, you can't readily do so. Although you can install the Play Store if you really want to, it's pretty tricky. However, the Fire HD will afterwards have true Google integration and even allow you to synchronize your Android smartphone and account with the tablet. Amazon designed the software to be a storefront window for its product range. You have a choice of e-readers, music and film streaming from proprietary services, audiobook and podcast players, and electronic issues of daily newspapers. Amazon Prime subscribers above all can enjoy their usual services that way. But if you live outside of this ecosystem, the Fire HD could prove disappointing for you. Apple Music, Google Play Music, Google Photos, Sky Ticket, and some other services that could be considered Amazon competitors cannot be found in the Amazon App Store, which would require the aforementioned trick with the Play Store. Or you can find the appropriate APK file and install it. The Fire HD is designed for streaming and ebooks. Accordingly, its chipset is simple, and its gaming performance is sufficient for the few titles that you find in the App Store. Its Wi-Fi unit supports all standards up to 802.11 acres and ensures quick, smooth streaming. Overall performance on the Amazon tablet is pleasant, and there's always a pause when switching between apps. However, there is no lag within the apps and as such, users not negatively affected apart from slow multitasking. Amazon Fire HD 10, 2017, Audio. Thanks to its integrated stereo loudspeakers, the Fire tablet is very well suited for watching ordinary series. You will be able to follow dialogue without any problem since the voices are reproduced clearly. However, Dolby Atmos does not have that truly atmospheric effect, since it lacks bass to do so, but you can always connect your trusty headphones to the headphone port camera the rear camera is 2 megapixels and the front camera is 0.6 MP. And yes, you can use Skype on it. The fire